everyone, welcome to another episode of Sports Scene. Good night to you all. Look, we have a great lineup this evening, Lawrence. Yeah. But last weekend's lineup was not so great. Defer the Digital Cup got deferred, yeah. and Xavier Coates seems like he's trying to get away from everything that you stand for. Brisbane Broncos, Kumuls, what's going on with it? Ah, oh, jeez, man, you <laughs> you got me, you, you got me again. Um, but yeah, look, um, Xavier Coates has signed for the Melbourne Storms. Um, but look, uh, all the best to him. I'm sure he'll do really well. And uh, yeah, we had um, such a, a big show of uh, the Digital Cup. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. that's uh, not uh, to, to, well, it's not going to go ahead due to the, um, the COVID-19 uh, yeah. in a couple of the players being tested positive and um, yeah, they're scrambling around to, yeah. to get vaccinated and a couple other things as well. True. I was mm. looking forward to seeing, you know, a big lineup of local rugby league. Mm. True, true. Yeah. And the Hunters. Yeah, geez, I, I, I got to say, yeah. Um, had uh, nine players that um, ended up on the field. Um, everyone else got sent off or injured and, 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 yeah. and so forth. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the coach, Matthew Church, uh, who we'll speak to later on yep. uh, this evening, um, they haven't named their full lineup yet, and he will do that um, just before the game on Sunday. Well, Sunday morning, um, they will do yep. the full team. All right, so there you have it. Matthew Church coming up right after. Um, this segment mm. and we also have Takala Tuna, the legendary Takala Tuna. Wow. He will be the guest speaker at the SP Sports Awards virtual which will be airing right here on MTV. Mm. He will be coming on later on the show as well. So before we get to that, the score line. All right, thanks Dini. Let's go straight to the uh, score line. Um, if you missed it um, all throughout the weekend, this is how uh, it all lined up. 50-0 Melbourne Storm against the Rabbitohs. Wow. That was on Thursday night last week. Uh, and then, well, Penrith, they, they were probably watching the game the night before. They said, well, we can do 50. Uh, too short there, 48 nil um, against the Sharks. Uh, Parramatta Eels, 31 um, against uh, a depleted Roosters team, uh, 31-18. No worries, Denny. I'll, you know, they, they lost a lot of players, so, you know, right. did probably well. Probably not even right. <laughs> 31 18. Um, this game, the Knights and Raiders, my goodness, uh, Raiders led 16 0 at halftime, uh, ended up losing 24 16. My wife, Diane, and she, she's a diehard Raiders, uh, but yeah, unfortunately. All right, Titans 36, West Tigers 28. Uh, Titans led for most of the game there. Uh, the scoreline fluctuated a bit there. This game, uh, right at the death there. Valentine's home, kicks, kicks a field goal. Um, Cowboys 19, Broncos 18, um, and then um, Sea Eagles 38, uh, Warriors 32 there, and uh, the Dragons, all right, um, beat uh, the Bulldogs 32-12. Kyle Flanagan there, halfback. Um, their savior that they had uh, brought in from um, the Roosters, uh, he was um, benched at halftime, and uh, now uh, he won't even play in this weekend's game. All right, now to the uh, Intra Super Cup. Uh, the results, Wynnum Manly Seagulls, 50-0. Jeez, against the Capras. Uh, Seagulls, uh, Tweed had Seagulls, 32 against the Ipswich Jets, 26. Uh, Northern Pride, 26 over the Magpies, 16. Uh, Dolphins, uh, 26, uh, just pipped the uh, Blackhawks there, 26-24. And um, the other results, Falcons, 58 over the Cutters, 10. And uh, the Bears, 36 nil, and there you go, our, our, our Hunters. Uh, Tigers, 40 against the Hunters on 12. All right, so there you go. That is the update of the scores of the NRL and the Intra Super Cup. Dini. All right, now hmm. I'm sure some of you have, uh, well, all of you have a lot of questions, me too, about the Hunters' performance yeah. from last weekend. All right, welcome back to Sports Scene. We are now talking rugby league again, and uh, we've got uh, with us uh, on the Zoom session the head coach of the PNGSP Hunters, uh, Matthew Church. Uh, coach, well, what a tough day uh, in the office last week, Sunday, uh, against a uh, well a re rejuvenated um, Brisbane Tigers. Man, what, what what a game that was! What, what what an interesting game it was. 
Yes, yeah, certainly not a game that uh, or a game that I've seen before in my lifetime. Or in and around the game, mm. uh, you, you know, sim bins of that nature usually. Yeah, you sort of see that on either side of the field, not just on one side. So the finish with nine men was probably a little bit harsh on uh, on our guys. Um, but, yeah, it's just one of those days where we've got to learn from it, move on and, and get better. Yeah, absolutely. Now let's, uh, let's get straight into it, uh, Coach. Um, Butterfield, um, I, I, I caught the game sort of midway and I was, I was going through uh, social media and, they were, uh, you know, people were jumping up and down saying, wow, uh, we've got Butterfield. Obviously... Um, he's been, um, you know, on your radar for a couple of weeks now. How did all that come about? Uh, oh, I guess when Tommy first knew that we were relocating, he said if there was an opportunity to come down and help or, or be around the boys, he, he would offer his services. Uh, we, were, we were hopeful uh, never never having to need that. So, um, But with only two hookers in the squad, uh, Watobo coming back from injury and Edwin suspended, uh, went just really light in that area. Um, we spoke around, look around at our depth of our squad, and yeah, it was, you know, while we might have had a couple of numbers there that could have filled in that spot, they were also returning from injury. So I just didn't want to push guys into in a situation where they might not be able to handle it, especially if Watova got injured really early in the game. So um, what we do lack at the Hunters at the moment, because we've got a very young squad, is some experience. And Tommy's played 200, over 200 games in Queensland Cup and also represented the Commons before. So, um, yeah, he's, I guess makes history as being the first non-PNG-based uh, hunter cool. to, to come on board. But, yeah, it was a good fit in terms of that he's, a, he's already a Kummel uh, and was willing to step up for his countrymen. Okay, um, moving it right along. Um, I'm sure Rimbu and uh, Simon just probably need a bit more uh, games together. The, the kicking game and the combination they had uh, probably needs a bit more work uh, to, to go. Yeah, I think they're probably just not putting themselves into the, in good positions to kick kick well either. So that you know, going down a short side to kick is probably not your best option. So just need to be smarter in and around that. Um, you know, young Judah, it's his first time being in the halves for the Hunters. So um, you know, a little bit of inexperience there comes to the fore. But again, we you know we've gone young this year to to expose our talent to NRL. So um, it's a learning curve, and that times that's steep. And we found out how steep that was on the weekend. All right, um, Stanton Albert. Wow, great news. Him and uh, Gilmore Paul, um, again, uh, under the radar, not many people knew. Uh, of course, uh, um, those uh, yourself, I'm sure, knew, but um, uh, they're in camp now, and uh, when do we expect them on the field? Yeah, so they came, in, they came out of quarantine on Sunday. Um, I guess kept fairly quiet because of um, there's such a high visibility around COVID and what's happening in the world, and especially people coming out of PNG in Queensland. And it, it can become a bit of a, a PR uh, nightmare at times. So, yeah, we tried to keep that as quiet as possible. Um, but, yeah, they're now here. They um, have just come out of two weeks of quarantine, so it's probably not advantageous to throw them straight into game situations yeah. after the back of that. So uh, we'll just ease them into training this week and then look at using them in the weeks coming forward. All right. Well, apart from Butterfield, um, is there anyone else um, that you have sort of um, up your sleeve? What, you know, what about uh, a guy like uh, Seguiero? Oh, uh, look, we, I'm not keeping anyone up my sleeve, Lawrence. So I think you know, I want to give the um, the people who who relocated the first opportunity for those positions. Um, someone like James potentially comes into the picture you know, down the track. He, I think, he's is uh, June two or something. Is his suspension is up? Um, but again, that needs to be a right fit for the hunters if they're going to be someone that adds value to what we're doing and um, and be able to educate our players. And then we certainly look at that. If they're a character that's um, you know got other things or other interests at one, then it's probably better to just leave them where they are. And um, yeah, if 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 it's an education thing and they're going to fit in with the group then we will look at anyone that would that would fit into that but hopefully um, the next few weeks we see a number of guys return from injuries um, so yeah hopefully we, d- we don't need to look outside our group anymore all right um, now the ins and outs um, I'm sure you've had a, a you know a quite an interesting week uh, to, to pick uh, the 17 for this weekend yeah, it, it has been a very interesting week between uh, injuries and suspensions. Uh, we've only named 11 at this stage. Um, we've just got some guys getting um, some feedback on whether or not they've got uh, little breaks or, or whatnot in thumbs and all that type of stuff. So um, we will you know, go. It'll be later in the week where we actually fill out, fill out our full 17. Mm. Okay, um, very quickly, uh, let's preview this weekend's game. Um, you play Salts Logan Magpies. Um, this is another Brisbane uh, Broncos feeder club. 
Uh, what's the game plan um, that you have uh, once you finally um, settle on your team? Yeah, well, the beauty of this competition is that you come up against some NRL quality competition. So, you know, South will have Carmichael Hunt and, and yeah. Tom Dearden playing this week, as, as well as a couple of other probably lesser known names at the at the Broncos. Mm-hmm. One of the, I guess, the things with the Hunters is most of the boys are Broncos supporters, like much like yourself, Lawrence. Um, so they love the Broncos. So, um, so yeah, it's a good test for those guys to come up against guys that they've supported probably for a long time. So especially someone like Carmichael, who you know has been around for a long, long time. So yeah, it's a good test. We we need to get back to playing a bit more uh, structured football. Where um, we kind of lost our way on the weekend, and we and I think you know. If you've re- you take out all the stuff that happened with the referees and the, the sin bins, I think we really got beat on experience last weekend. So um, it's just around sticking to our game plan. And if we stick to that longer, then we'll put ourselves in the picture a lot more. All right, welcome back. You're watching Sports Scene. We are now talking the SP Sports Awards. Uh, 2019 2020 achievements and uh, with me I've got uh, our guest speaker well the guest speaker for the SP Sports Awards uh, going virtual this year it is none other uh, than the great the legend himself um, Takale Tuna um, really really um, uh, honored to have you um, on the show this evening and uh, you know thanks for coming on yes, uh, thank you Laurie for having me uh, on the sports in program mm. Uh, it's it's an honour to to be the first national uh, uh, guest speaker mm. uh, for the for the SP Sports Awards. Yeah, huh? for the SP Sports Awards. Mm. Well, um, uh, my kids might not know um, your achievements. In mm. fact, they're they're only uh, you know, five or six years old now. Um, but let's uh, take a relive your 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 achievements uh, when you first represented. Uh, Papua New Guinea and uh, maybe how old you were and um, your first uh, Pacific Games or mini Pacific Games uh, at the time. Yeah, my, my, my journey to India athletics career started in 1984 mm. uh, when I was only 19. Uh, I went for the uh, Pacific Schools Games. In, Pacific uh, School Games. Yeah, wow. in, uh, in Melbourne, Australia. Okay. Uh, where I won uh, BND's first medal in those games. Uh, it was silver in the 400 meters. Uh, straight after that, uh, I was thrown into the... <laughs> to the, uh, so the seniors, huh? the old seniors, yeah. yeah. I was a junior for six months of 1984. So, yeah, yeah and then uh, that's when my uh, Pacific Games career started off. I basically uh, blitzed the field within the 100 meters, wow. the 200 meters, the 400 meters, yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. sprint treble. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, that was the first time Papua New Guinea okay. ever won 100 meters. We'll stop right there, uh, Takale. Was there any sort of training that you did prior to that? Or, you know, what was your preparations like? When did you actually start uh, running? Yeah, I've, I've always been a, a natural athlete. Okay. I uh, played nearly, you know, like all any Papua New Guinea, nearly yeah. all the sports. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you talk about Oslo, softball, mm. Uh, mm. basketball. Mm. I even played basketball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. For a while. Uh, but uh, serious running really started in 1984. Okay. I was, I was, I was chosen uh, to attend what they used to call uh, the Colgate Junior Camp. Wow. Uh, in in NSI in Goroka. And this was you that they picked you straight from home, huh? Straight? No, yeah, straight from uh, Karawit National High School. Okay. Uh, and then uh, uh, up to Goroka, wow. and we actually were we competed against a group of. Uh, U.S. Uh, college athletes mm. who, who came with the PNG, and uh, I stood out there, I, basically in the under 200, 400 meters, and that's when uh, my career started off. And then so you were at NSI, uh, and then um, you know you you were training under uh, which which coaches at the time? Yeah, the, uh, in 1985, uh, I actually was. Uh, was uh, accepted at the uh, uh, Goroka Teachers College then, okay. uh, campus of uh, EPNG. Okay. So I was, you know, I'm a trained teacher, my profession. So yep. I actually did two years there for for a diploma in secondary school. So it, it worked well with you, yes, teaching yes, and, and yes. NSI was right there? Yeah. Mm. So uh, uh, that's when I met uh, Tom Brand, who yep. took me uh, under the wings, uh, myself, Martin Leary. And, yep. And John Chiguri, mm-hmm. uh, my two good friends yes, still, yes, still yes, today. Yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We, uh, so you know, we we form a 
formidable group. Mm. We started training and, and yeah. so on. Well, fast forward it. Uh, let's go to 1991. Um, the Pacific Games, or well, the South Pacific Games, as it was known uh, back then, uh, hosting it here in the, uh, you know, in the nation's capital, there must have been a bit of pressure on you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> being the being the fastest in the Pacific and the, at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, at the time, mm. I, it was actually, uh, you know, uh, I was under a lot of pressure. Mm. Uh, basically, my aim was to, to win all the sprints. Yep. Uh, I was glad that I had a, a group of young. Uh, you had a good team. Yeah. You had a good team. Huh? Yeah, uh, you know, it's Kerwa, Kerwa, Shibuba, 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 Yeah, so, you know, they, they supported me, unfortunately, uh, they beat me in the hundred. In the hundred and the four hundred. We would have won two or three. We would have won two or three. Yeah, for the four hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I won the two hundred meter gold, in the four by one, and the yeah. four by four. So yeah. three gold medals at uh, mm. nineteen ninety one. But your hope was to, to to get everything at the time, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know, uh, basically the 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 idea was to mm. get a good team together. Yeah. We, you know, we formed uh, before ninety one. They actually uh, formed a, what we call a mobile elite squad. Nice. Basically, picked up the best. Yeah, yeah. Jonah Emmanuel Mack and yep. Yamulauna and yes. Harun Dubnai at that time. So we were the mobile elite squad that formed the. the yeah, core. no, I I, I got to say, uh, you know, personally on a personal level, um, obviously I, I was there. Not obviously, but I was there as a as a ball boy at the time uh, for basketball and mm -hmm. hearing names of uh, you know you and Subul Bauman, man. There was a it was an unbe unbelievable feeling at the time and. Uh, you know, an achievement. So that that was your last last games. Yeah, that and was uh, that was my last games. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I basically decided to hang up my boots, mm -hmm. even though we we qualified mm -hmm. uh, the, for the first time. Uh, Papua New Guinean four by four team qualified for the Olympics wow. on merit. Wow! Uh, you know, to the nineteen ninety two Barcelona Olympics. Yeah. Uh, it was the dream team for us. I mean, yeah, you, you had we, a really good uh, we, team. Uh, we, we broke the all-timers record, Pacific Games record, and it still stands still today. today. Wow. Yeah. That's an amazing yeah. achievement. Okay. Um, well, the SP Sports Awards, uh, 2019 and 2020 uh, achievements, you're the guest speaker. Uh, we won't let any more th uh, uh, things out because I'll, I'll be talking to you on the night um, of, of that as well, and um, uh, we'll be discussing that. But, um, you know, maybe tell us a bit about what you're doing now. Um, you're, you're in a, a project um, that uh, you currently do, which is, I think we need to be able to, to share that as well. Yeah, uh, uh, at the moment, I'm managing the uh, water sanitation hygiene project with mm -hmm. the government. Yep. Basically implementing uh, the WASH policy, yep. water sanitation hygiene policy, 2015-2030. Uh, you know, I basically manage uh, World Bank, uh, EU, ADB, yeah. Yeah. Uh, funding that are funding the, 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 the projects yeah. in the country. Yeah. And basically to help our, especially our rural areas, yeah. have access to quality, quality water, uh, clean quality water. water and yeah. hygiene and yeah. uh, good toilets. And I mean, with COVID now coming well, on that, board, that, yeah, I mean, exactly. that the project is even yeah, more, yeah, more important. Yeah. Yeah. So, Welcome back. You're watching Sports Scene. Lawrence, the usual roundup before we go. Yep, the weekend preview. Uh, thanks, Dini. Well, let's go straight into uh, the roundup for the NRL and, of course, the Interest uh, Super Cup. First, the NRL and its magic round in Brisbane. It's uh, part of Kerama, too. Uh, 600 real good uh, there. Uh, anyway, okay. um, Tigers Knights, uh, that's the first game, and then the Sea Eagles Broncos, okay? All at Suncorp Stadium. All the games. Uh, will be played at Suncorp. And then three games uh, again on Saturday. Raiders, Bulldogs, the Sharks, Rabbitohs, and the Cowboys versus the Roosters uh, to end Saturday night uh, at Suncorp. And then they do it all over again on Sunday in Brisbane. Uh, Parramatta Eels, Warriors, Dragons, Storms, and the Titans, I reckon, will have a big upset. That's my tip against the Panthers. So that's Magic Round on the NRL. 
Uh, now the Interest Cup, the Bears take on the Jets. Uh, Pride versus Seagulls, that's the Twitter Seagulls, and the Cuppers. Uh, will take on the Devils. Right, that's on Saturday. Um, and on Sunday, um, Mackay Cutters take on the Blackhawks, uh, Sun Sunshine Coast Falcons against the Winner Manly Seagulls, uh, the Tigers against the Dolphins, and our SPPNG Hunters uh, will play against the South Logan Magpies, which consists of Dearden and Carmichael, Carmichael Hunt uh, and uh, Corey Pikes as well. So it's, it's, it's pretty much a um, a reserve team of the Brisbane Broncos. Yeah. Hmm. We do wish our boys all the best. All the best. All I'm the best. sure they'll do better this time. Yes. Okay, so hmm. before we go, story tips. If you have any story tips, please do contact us. Call us on 312 9200 mm -hmm. or you can email us at sports at emtv.com.pg or you can message us on our Facebook page and leave your story tip, your full name, and your other contact details as well. Now, speaking of sports, Sports Scene Facebook page, please check out our page, hit that like but button and you'll get all the information, some updates that we don't usually have the duration, time duration, yeah. to be able to put it all on Sports Scene. You will catch most of those little stories, we'll be sharing them from other pages as well and some updates that we usually get, we will be sharing them on our page. So mm. just check out our page, hit like and I'm sure you will stay informed, I promise you that. Yep. Okay, that's all. Do you have any more No, uh, yeah, you've covered it all, Dini, but uh, um, yeah, have a fantastic uh, uh, weekend, everyone. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get out on the sporting fields, the courts, and uh, get healthy, stay healthy, and you know, really uh, uh, kick uh, COVID back to where it's come from, wherever that is. Speaking of which, I know you've been exercising out at Tel Aviv. Yes. I should join you and yes, Diane. Yes, please. We, we, we must yeah. do that. Um, Diane, I know you're watching. Um, we will get Dini. I'm inviting myself. She, she will, she will <laughs> be a part of our yes. um, routine, exercise routine. Nice. I'll decorate the side oh, no, lines. No. Well, we'll, yeah. we'll walk, we'll do some other things. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's been another episode of Sports Scene. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Bye for now. Good night.